Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard on a warm Florida day. Getting ready for some cold weather to come and trying to have some experiments and, and do some fun. And I just did a zigzag 16 by 20 canvas, which was usually the precursor to my doing a swipe. And what I did instead was leave it alone. And what I found out when I was swiping the zigzags was that it's nice to be able to see patterns form. And I don't know how any of that's going to work, but I'm interested in finding out. And it worked quite nicely with my spatulas. I haven't made up any pour cups. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. I'd like to see what happens when I mix things. without getting too overly grandiose in my composition, but um, you don't have a large window of opportunity of time with, uh, with the fluid acrylics with the pouring medium in. And I do use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paintings so that, as promised, it does not, the paint does not crack when it's thick. And I am definitely going to just keep grabbing things that I like and swiping them into place. And deciding if I like it or not as I go along. Thinking about doing ocean themes at some time in the future, but this is just... And whatever I do, I can always add chain with beads or my basting brush but as long as I'm using any of these neon colors this is a folk art neon purple and as long as I'm using that I try and use it near white now seldom have I allowed myself just to willy-nilly get busy with paint I'm getting frustrated <laughs> stop it come out of the top I'm going to have to keep something really, really sharp, like a needle close by. And all of my skewers have paint on the end. There we go. Even if I just get some for right now, I'm better off than not. This is a test of my ability to choose colors I like. And sort of a test to find out what, things, what happens to things when they get combined. which doesn't bother me a bit, and I really could go back and use the basting brush. Whatever falls over the side is fair game for uh, for me to wipe my fingers into and touch the edges. This is truly composing by the seat of your pants. Ooh, I like what's going on over here. That doesn't mean I should change it, but that's probably what just what's going to happen. All right, I've got some terrible pink that used to make a big difference. And I've got different shaped spatulas, too. They're all available on my Amazon link. If you find one, you find them all. That's too bad, because I liked what was happening there. And white is a catalyst. I'm sure I cut myself off there on some sentence in the middle, but... White is a catalyst. Here's my round tip spatula, which I think is... what I want right now. And if I'm fast enough, I can come back in and add colors over and still be able to pull things. I've wanted to do this for a while. I tend to wonder how much, how often I should be wiping off my spatula. I don't really feel like I'm wasting that much paint. It definitely looks like a turbulent sea. I think I'm going to keep using the white. It's just basically 
spiral swipes, but with a spatula. And as long as there isn't too much stuff on the spatula, it can change the color terribly, which I'm going to remove right now with my finger. I'm going to dip into that. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I think a little white is in order again. My space ready for the yellow I want to go in there. Since I have it over here anyway, why not fill it in and see what happens with the pink. Yeah, that makes a good color. I like that. I'll probably go back in and fill that in in a moment. Makes a good green. I have a lighter orange in here that I want. I thought about just doing dots. I also have skewers, which have turned out to be pretty cool as tools for blending and adding patterns. And that's just a party. I haven't added any black, and I'm thinking if I do add some black, it's going to be afterwards. I want some more of this purple here. I can't believe I've never done this before. Nothing exactly like this. And it really doesn't take that long. Maybe it's my skill level. Maybe it's from being used to doing it, you know, that I just want to do it, and I have to do it fast anyway, so I might as well find out what happens when things combine. But I kind of need clean spatulas. And the skewer is much less invasive than the spatula, so that's pretty neat. I like... I'm seeing some cells happening, and that's that's make that's pleasing me. Let's put it that way. I'm not sure about that yet, but as I always say, I'm not done yet either. I like the little dots that are accidental. I'm not sure about that one. If I had a palette of colors to dip into, I might con consider doing that. I keep trying to wipe off my tools. That's the Prussian blue with, that originally had some deco art pouring medium mixed into it and usually sells and may sell again in a minute if I torch and or spread it with the white that's close by. I don't want to get too contrived because that doesn't really work very well for me, I don't think. I say that and then I just can't stop myself from playing some more. But I wasn't really done playing anyway. Covering the edges may be an issue, might be something that needs to be framed. But I'm going to take that purple that's right there and utilize some of it. Mix it in with the turquoise that's fallen over. Call that good. I want some black, and I want some more of that, my favorite neon folk art. I'm going to drop it right onto that white. And that white too. And that blue and white, Ooh, which had some cool orange in it. Excellent. I like that. So things are looking pretty good on this side. I don't know. The paint's not very thick because I'm swiping it, so I don't know if there's even enough thickness of paint to uh, to see cells. But I'm so kind of really liking what I've got here that it's not 
an issue. And sometimes when you have a nice color left on your on your spatula, it's just cool to go ahead and use what you've got there. I like this. I like the green that got made with the Prussian blue and the and or the turquoise. It just makes me want to add some more. We've got six whole minutes left, which is cool. Because I still want to use the torch. And there is enough paint on my spatula as I go along to decide to knock it off and cover my edges if I'm willing to take a moment to do so. And the edges don't have to match the pattern on the painting obviously completely because it could be just another part of the painting over the edge. I don't know if that made any sense or not. This unfortunately is bugging me. And what I want there instead, whoops, not that. Oh well, I guess I got that whether I like it or not. Okay, I'm not minding that so much anymore. Steal some paint that was never supposed to be there to begin with. Use my skewer. I like dragging paint around with my skewer. I have a white spot. I have a couple of white spots. I have one here and one there. I still haven't done anything with that black, and I could do something with the blue, the Prussian blue that sells. I like. I like that idea. Just sort of pushing the paint into place with the skewer, filling in the gaps, which are mostly gone to tell you the truth. And uh, that's a fun piece. I just, I just like that. I do. And I also love playing with my spatulas. And I want, what do I want there? Do I? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe so. Yeah, that's not bothering me. I like all of that. I don't want to go too much further, and I really need to stop myself so I can uh, torch. Where is it? It's right here. And I've got some more gold to fill in this other edge. I'm just going to put some of that all the way down. It's a good thing to fill in. It'll lead other paint over the side if there's any amount of it. I haven't tried to tip because the paint isn't really thick enough to tip, but I think that it is uh, probably time to attempt. Do I really want to do that? Yeah, I do. Try to attempt whatever I'm going to attempt, which might be, yeah, I think a little bit of basting brush. Ooh, I like that. It's going right down to that white paint. I like the lines. And I discovered that I have a spot there that I want to stay white. Now I could do this again and again and again <laughs> and uh, probably be very happy throwing some chains in there too. But it's definitely time to find out what torching will do and then decide if I want some black in there or not. I've got a not, lot of nice little cells from the swipes. The torch to remove the bubbles from the paint, usually. You know, as much as I like this over here, and I do, I feel like it needs to have more paint on it than it's got. Whoops, that was not a mistake. I don't like that. No, I like that how it was. Oh well.
Hopefully, if I had, if I didn't torch too far, I can still uh, rescue things. And the edges are covering themselves quite nicely from where I put the gold down and didn't spend too awful long trying to make it perfect. I still have this edge to do. Which is okay. I can throw some white in there and make it up. Throw a little more purple in there, I think. Perfect. Merge those two. Got one more color to add. Maybe two if I throw some white in there also. And that, my friends, is super simple. At least for me. And that's me composing by the seat of my pants. That's bothering me. I don't know what to do about that. Maybe a little tiny bit of green. In a couple of places. Won't hurt anything. I think I might be right about that. All right. I've got three minutes to tell you to shop my Amazon link if you can, if you want to, and it will be of assistance to me at no extra cost to you, and I appreciate that very much. Speaking of appreciation, thank you all for the thumbs up, and thank you 38,000 subscribers. I'm really, really pleased with that. Thank you for the job, because I needed a job. I didn't have any income. Uh, I do sell my artwork occasionally, not often enough. If you're interested in my artwork, please just contact me, and I will get back to you as soon as I can manage. I have Teespring clothing that if you click on any one of the items, it'll take you to my store. In the body of the video is my pouring medium recipe, my paint mixture with pouring mediums mentioned in it. And at the very bottom of the description, under show more under the video, under the Teespring, under the Amazon, one more torching, is are the volumes one through three of Facebook albums of the YouTube wet and dry artworks with prices, my Pinterest link, and my Instagram link. And I think that's about it for me and you. And I hope you enjoyed that. I see something that's not right. But that's okay, because I don't think a little white is going to hurt anything, even if the skewer has orange on it. And yes, I do. I like to use my fingers once in a while. And I'm pretty happy with this. I'm just going to call it uh, Tumult. I think. It's a fun little rainbow piece and I'm happy with it. And I'm happy with you guys for joining me and I hope you join me again. I'm going to try and get that completely in frame and get you as close to it as I can. Let's do that. There we go. Okay. So this is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery with 350 videos. So if you like what I do, please feel free to watch some more. And I will talk to you in the next video, or at you, I guess, is more likely. And this is me saying I love you guys. Thanks for the comments. And thank you all for the contributions that keep me painting. I forgot. I can't believe I forgot. So this is me saying goodbye for now. Priscilla out.